VDM finally reacts to Farrell's sister. Now you say you meet VDM in court because VDM did not do the needful. You guys ask VDM to apologize to your father for his reputation. The question I'm asking is, was VDM the one speaking in that voice note? For those of you who do not watch that video very well, when VDM made that video, some of you will be talking without really understanding. VDM said, if this turn out to be true, then I'm going to lose every respect I have for you and your family. He went further again to say he refused to believe that this is true. Why did VDM say all this? VDM said so because he wants you guys to go into details of the investigate this and prove everyone wrong. You guys are not after the person that was speaking on that voice. You are instead after VDM, the whistleblower, who is trying to expose corruption. Now you guys want to use connections, power, to suppress him, to press him. Well, he has told you guys that if it is to go to jail, he is ready to go to jail. But that will not stop him from saying the truth. You can't twist a man like VDM. He knows what he is doing. Guys, listen to what VDM is saying in this video. Let's watch it together. All right. Um, so I'm just waking up now. And then I open my Instagram. The first thing I saw is a post on Gossip Mill from Femi Falano's daughter, Fal's sister, where she said, seeing you have refused to do the needful, see you in court. My dad, Femi Falano, never met Bobriski. We don't need his money. Bobriski only called my brother, Fal's, to beg, for, to beg him for money to be moved to VIP cell. My sister, this thing you just posted now is what would have been posted earlier so that we can all join hand and face the corruption that was revealed. You understand? It's amazing how people went from corruption and people are coming for me that exposed the corruption. You understand? It's just crazy. You know, a recording that exposed a lot of atrocities that might have been going on for a long time that we just discovered. Do you understand? Imagine Bobriski on a call saying that he paid 15 million naira to EFCC to drop the money laundry charges. That is a big, that is, that should be disturbing to all Nigerians who so crying out loud. Imagine Bob Risky saying that instead of taking him to the prison, one godfather called that they should give him an apartment outside the prison. That is disturbing and worrisome. You understand? To think that some people that we thought were persecuted are the people, they are outside chilling. You understand? To think, to, are people even understanding the problem that inside that thing that was released? But instead of us joining out to fight this corruption against these agents or this agency that have partook in a corruption, everybody's going, you are coming for me. You understand? Because he said, okay, uh, your father's name was mentioned. Was your father's name not in the recording? Let me took Femi Falano's name for the recording. Let me took Fao's name for the recording. You understand? The only thing I said, I said, if their name, if this turns out to be true, I will not have any more respect for them. You understand? If, and I even went on to say that I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. What did I talk where they did? Next thing, files go drop a letter. Say, if I know retract, retract what? Now me put your name there. What did I say there? You understand? Now you say you want to take me go court. There's no problem. There's no problem. Ah, yes, give or take. If it's too bad, you lock me up for, for six months. If it's too bad, yeah, if you lock me up for one year. You understand? I don't know what you people wanted. You people wanted me to play the voice note and remove Uncle Femi Falano's name and Fal's name. What kind of human being would I be? You understand? Which kind of justice I'll say I won't find. Maybe say even the person where people will be saying I like their name no good day there. Who am I? I am not an hypocrite. You understand? Nigerians, let me even tell you what is funny. You see, since I came on this social media, see, I have an option to make millions of naira and go and sit down. I for don't make 500 million, over 500 million. And I for the chill. You understand? But I sacrifice all those things because I know that there are people that are being oppressed. And I decide to use my platform to speak up on, for those people. Since I came on social media, you know how many people my voice don't help? You know millions of naira when I don't collect for, on social media for people. You know millions of naira when I don't collect behind social media for people. This case now when make I post this recording. So the guy borrowed Bobriski four million naira. He sweats. He give Bobriski. 
It was time for Bobriski to pay him back. Bobriski started to return the guy. To the point where he said, oh, yeah, pay me back my money. After Bobriski said, go pay in September. Bobriski said, eh, oh, yeah, now if you go, I'll tell people, say me and you kiss me and you smoosh. I asked the guy thoroughly, the guy saying, swear to God, he never thought Bobriski for in life. That because Bobriski knows, say, people know they like a gay thing. Bobriski won't rob something on his body. So I know if you collect him money. Then I step up. Asked him, say, which evidence you get? He said, God so kind. He was recording everything. Because in the feast, Bobriski will go on cheat him. And that was the record that I posted. And Bobriski, um, it was when Bobriski was asking him for that money, Bobriski said all those things. So when it come in my own now, instead of us to join us and follow the corrupt people that are spoiling Nigeria, you know, they come for me, say, because Nami post them. Eh? Because Nami post them. Tomorrow now you come and say, eh, you the fight, you the fight for human rights. Tomorrow you come and say you are fighting for human rights. You understand? But I don't care. If eventually, if at the end of the day, you not throw me in that cell, there's no problem. I swear to God, I am not bothered. You understand? I respect Uncle Femi Falano and I still respect him. What you people would have done was to remove his name from it. But you people did not even address Bob Risky. You did not say anything about Bob Risky. Bob Risky, at the end of the day, you people actually got on a call together. When I don't move on now to very dark man court case, focus on the thing that really happened. But no, when I come for very dark man, there's no problem. Oh. There's no problem. Like I said, Push come to shove, you locked me for six months. Push come to shove, it can never be more than six months. Oh, I yourself, when I say make I pay fine. Oh, now sue me for one big money. Do you understand? Then I go start to pay for my own capacity. If you sue me one billion naira now, and the courts, by, uh, my lawyer maybe bargain. Maybe when I end up for 100 million. I pay one, one million every month. Do you understand? Or I go to pay for 500,000 every month. Or I would pay to 200,000 every month. Depends on what my, my work give me in a month. I don't have a problem. I will pay. If you are deciding now and I won't turn the case, go. I don't have a problem. I will pay. But I will not come back and come and say uh, this thing because of fear. I fear nobody. Now only God I fear. You understand? Uncle Femi Falano, I never defamed you. Far as the bad guy, I never defamed you. But if you people say that's what it is, there's no wahala. But Brisky goes scot free. You understand? Eh, may they go scot free now. But like I said, me, I will always talk. If you like, lock me one million times. If I come out, I stage carry my camera and I speak the truth that I know that is the truth. It can't be more than that. And I will continue speaking up for people. That's what I do. I've signed up for it. And I'm going to go lock me up, I beg. No problem. Peace and love. My sister, I will see you in court. Thank you very much. And don't play. If you play, you're going to learn. And you will learn the hard way. Peace and love. See you in court. Bye. Hope you guys understand why we are in this position. Because even when we all are seeing the truth, no one wants to be a bad person. We all want to be look good in front of everybody. That is why we are going to stay in one position until we start taking responsibilities of our actions. We are not going to have any change. Look at what they are trying to do to VDM. They are instead making VDM to look like the bad person. Whereas they were supposed to be hailing VDM and asking whosoever is in that voice of which we all know is Bob Risky to come and speak up. Where did VDM know about Faz speaking with Bob Risky? Where did VDM come to know about Faz that getting involved in, in all this? If Bob Risky had paid someone 4 million, 4 million, look at all the atrocities that has been caused. Because of 4 million, people are on suspension. People are being dragged to court. EFCC is shaking. Everybody is panicking. At the end of the day, you all gonna learn. And you all gonna learn the hard way. Because, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. If you are not following the page, hit on the follow button. The Rattle, we are together.